A couple versions back in Odoo, dashboarding was very different. Overall, it's a lot better now, but there was one piece of functionality that we lost. At least, I thought we lost it until the other day I was combing through some comments and found something interesting. Apparently, my dashboard isn't gone, it's just something you have to go in and deliberately install. Now you may be wondering why exactly you should care about this. Well, my dashboard allows you to take views from all over Odoo and basically make it so that when you first come into Odoo during the day, you can see exactly what you wanna see in accounting, in sales, in a bunch of different places so that you can organize your day effectively and get the information that you need. I love this functionality so much that it used to be a big part of any consultation that I did. I would sit people down and say, okay, what's important to you? What do you need to see on a daily basis? And we would go in and build out this view so that people could see that information right when they first came in. Anyway, let me walk you through how you get this option and how you can use it effectively. And then finally, we'll go over how you can actually add a dashboard for somebody else. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we've got first. So one of my favorite things to stick on a dashboard, especially if I'm in a bookkeeping position, is this orders to invoice, okay? So I come into this and I go to the little gear and I don't see add to my dashboard. And yes, in older versions of Odoo, it was over here when you save a current search, but now it's supposed to be over here. So what we need to do is go out to apps and search dashboard and feel really sad when nothing comes up actually we're just going to go ahead and remove apps and we're going to search dashboard and we want to see this guy right here we want to go ahead and install that okay so now when we come to this same place go to to invoice orders to invoice and really this is any view i can come into here go to dashboard and add to my dashboard as orders to invoice so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Now it does tell me to refresh a couple times and then I wanna come back out, go to dashboards and go to my dashboard. And you can see that it saved a little window into this view for me to see. And this is all dynamic, right? This is going to grow and shrink as I have orders to invoice. I can come into this, I can click into the order. I can interact with it in all the same ways that I'd interact with a normal view. So let's make this a little bit more robust, an example. So we'll come back in and we'll say, okay, um, here's my quotations and I'm going to go ahead and throw this into a graph view where I'm gonna look at my quotations and just see, okay, who are my biggest customers here? So we'll throw this in and go to dashboard and say my biggest uh, quotation customers. Wow, Andrew can't spell today. Okay, go ahead and add that. Refresh a couple times. And you can see now I've got this guy too. Now, this may start to get a little bit cluttered, so we may want to change the layout a bit and say, okay, let's just do half and half, make my life easier here. And that way I can see everything at the same time. Now priorities change over time, so certainly I can come in and I can make this smaller so I don't need to see it right now, or I can get rid of it entirely, or as you know, with anything else, I can just move this around, uh, clean this up. But this is a, just a great way for you to organize yourself and make sure that the information that you want to see specific to your position is readily available. Now this is really cool, right? I mean, I could essentially take and get views from all over Odoo, bring them here, and when I first log in for the day, I can see, okay, where should I focus my time, right? Um, I probably need to invoice these sales orders that need to be invoiced. Maybe I'd have a list of the deliveries that need to go out. It really can help me organize my day. And again, this is all specific to me. It doesn't affect anybody else, not really. It allows me to be super effective and focus on the things I wanna focus on. But we are in a business setting and we don't work alone. And so maybe there are things that we want other people to focus on, or maybe there are things that other people want us to focus on. So how do we add this to somebody else's dashboard? 
Well, it's actually not horribly tricky. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so one of my colleagues is looking at this and is like, wow, okay, I'd like to see my orders to invoice. And that colleague doesn't want to chase this themselves, um, doesn't want me over by the computer. Anyway, there's any number of reasons, right? I could just think that my team needs to have this. Say I'm the accounting manager and I want everybody to see this. So what we need to do is make sure we're in developer mode. Click your monkey and we're going to type customized views here and go into that. So I can look at these and you can see uh, here in the string, my biggest quotation customers. And we can also see, okay, um, inside of this, I've got my two invoice with all of this stuff. So basically, if I want to create a copy, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. You can see now I have two of these. And I'm going to change this to where it goes to other guy. And I'm going to save it. So you can see it's going to block me on this, right? Which is kind of annoying. But it does make sense. So for this, we're going to click the little bug and we're going to become a super user, which essentially gives us all the rights that we need. So we'll come back into our customized views. Other guy, it looks like it's stuck, which is really kind of funny that it did that. But to make sure that it doesn't have any problems, we're going to save with mine, go back to other guy, save. And now we're going to log in as other guy so that we can see that. So here we go, other guy. Other guy's password, log in, and let's see, yeah, I'm being redirected to the wrong spot right now, but if I go into dashboards and go to my dashboard, you can see he has this lovely orders to invoice that we so kindly provided for him. So there you go. Not an overly complicated thing, but an extremely useful tool. And I'm sure you can see how useful this is. So make sure and share it with your friends, your colleagues, like, subscribe, all of that so that this gets around to everybody. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I read every single one of those and respond to every single one of those. And if you want to talk about something a little heavier hitting, the link to my Calendly is in the description below. Thanks again though, guys. Always appreciate you stopping by. See you again soon.